Hello, welcome to Wilcox Nursery and Landscape. I'm Bruce Turley, the owner, and this is where we are focused on native plants and sustainable products and practices. We're going to be talking about native plants and identifying and getting you familiar with some of our native plants. So we're going to do a segment where we do some points of interest around the nursery and talk about some of the plant displays that you can see uh, plants grown out. So the uh, question always arises is what is a native plant? A native plant would be a plant that occurred here naturally prior to European uh, contact here in the New World. And why do we plant native plants? Uh, native plants have adapted the diversity of environments we have in Florida, and in so they are able to help us reduce our input from fertilizers, pesticides, and they're really fantastic for providing sustainability from our pollinators at the whole chain of life. And they, of course, give us a sense that we know where we are as opposed to anywhere else on the globe. So we have some plants planted in the nursery that particularly make really good screening plants. Uh, this is one that's really common, again, throughout Florida, a very common plant and very common well out of uh, the state of Florida and to other states. This is wax myrtle. Uh, wax myrtle are male and female plants. The females produce a little waxy berry. The waxy berry can be melted down for the bayberry aroma and candle wax and is very attractive to a whole set of uh, songbirds all the way from small birds like warblers and goldfinch all the way up the line of larger birds. Great, great uh, wildlife plant, a great birder plant because of those berries on the female plant. Obviously you would have to have a male and a female plant to get the berries, so you want to be careful to uh, make sure that you have that covered. The foliage, like the berry, is very aromatic and you can almost see where this one is growing out in the sun that it has just a little bit of a really attractive rust color to the green that just gives it a really kind of a rich look. Again, you can see nice density to it, so where you're looking to screen a view maybe that you don't want to see, wax myrtle is a really nice fast growing plant. It does like to be really moist when it's first planted, but it eventually adapts to being quite dry. So again, it's a pretty adaptable and versatile plant and just a wonderful plant, again, for nice density and that screening effect in the landscape. And songbirds to boot. Another screening plant that's in our line here is our native southern red cedar, as you see behind me. Um, it's a needle-leafed evergreen. Uh, again, it's very adaptable tree. It's rather fast growing and uh, gives a really nice screening effect. They are male and female plants. The female plants produce a gray-green waxy berry that again is very uh, attractive to songbirds. And uh, it's just, uh, it's really durable for salt air and for just all kinds of variables in the landscape. When it's young, it tends to grow upright in a conical shape and it lives to be quite an old tree where eventually they, became, they become a canopy tree, probably somewhere in the 30 to 50 year range of age. So in the early stages, these are really popular for planting these kind of rows for just an effect where you screen out of view and uh, they can grow quite tall. So if you have a two story structure or something really tall that you're trying to screen out, works really well for that. So that's our tour of our little vignettes here at the nursery. And if you really want a dynamic 365, 24-7, plant native plants in your landscape, like our firebush here and our goldenrods, and you will bring all kinds of life to your landscape.